Hi, Terry Jett here. I'd like to show you today how to actually schedule a post in WordPress. This comes in real handy if you want to, say for instance, uh, do a promo. You've got uh, you've joined a, a giveaway event, for instance, and it's not going to happen for days to come. And you want to go ahead and schedule this and get it done, get your everything completed so you don't have to worry about remembering it or going back and doing it. This is how I schedule a lot of my posts and just hands off. I, I think it's very simple to do. I'll give you an example. I'm not going to get into completely installing this in WordPress. There are many, many tutorials on how to install plugins. It's very straightforward. You'll notice that I've logged into my dashboard already. And what you'll do in your dashboard, now I'm using the very latest version of WordPress uh, 2.8, well there you go, 2.85. And it may be different if you're using an older version. Uh, I, I really suggest that you always upgrade your WordPress blog, so it's, it's really security reasons. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my plugins right here and add new. It's really a cool thing about WordPress. I just love it. Okay, so... What we're going to look for, it's called uh, text as post. Of course, it's already typed in there. TXT as post. I'm going to search the plugins. And it's on down a little ways right here. Text as post. Of course, go over to install. And Windows going to pop up. And I get this warning, of course, that it's not been tested on mine because it's uh, compatible up to 2.84 I'm running 2.85 but I, personally I don't worry about that a whole lot uh, it's something that's totally up to you uh, go ahead and read over the information here it's very simple to use but you'll see right here if you don't have it installed it's gonna say install I've got the latest version already installed so I don't have an active button but uh, that's where you would click to get it installed Again, I'm not going to cover installation. Okay, so what I do is, once I have installed it and activated it, there's going to be over here, settings area, a link to it. Text as post. When you go to it, you're going to see default version, custom date version, custom tags. Okay, self-explanatory. The first line in a text document is going to be the title. And the rest is going to be the content of the post. The custom date version, I don't use this very much. Can if you like. The first line is going to be the title. The second line is going to be the date. And the rest is going to be the content. Or custom tags. Uh, again, I'm not going to cover tags in this. You Plenty of tutorials on that. But you can have tags in your blog. Simplest way I have found, just go with default. And what I have done is, get down here. is I have created what I did was I went to the perfect traffic storm it's going to be released uh, today and I'll, I'll scheduled it for a post but what I've done is is I just took actual promo email that people are going to send out and I'm gonna make it into a post now I did a little fancy added in the image here you'll see right here where I added it let's see I added this one now you don't have to do this and you may want to experiment around to get it formatted correctly but you don't have to have an image uh, it's just something I did because I've been using it a while and I know how another thing that I did is the affiliate link is just a plain text I went ahead and did me a uh, tag here and made it into a link and that's, that's the easiest way to do that go ahead and make you a clickable link in your post so what I did like I said took the promo email directly from the site and I went ahead and added an image you don't have to and you have to zip it okay so use your favorite zip program make you a zip file and after you get your zip file you just go to it click on it and your maximum size may be different. I'm on a dedicated server and I can change this. It all depends, but you're not going to have a text file very large anyway. Okay, time interval by hours. 
Now, here's the easiest way to do this. You can, before you start, you can go, let's go to my blog here, and you can look and see actually when your last post was. And today, say for instance, I posted at, let's say, 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, November the 9th. Maybe I don't want this to go out. I want it to go out uh, more, that's 8 hours after. If I wanted it to go out 24 hours, 48, 96, however many hours ahead. So if I wasn't going to be promoting for a couple of days, I put 48 hours in from now. And this will automatically get posted. Okay, and your categories, choose a category that you have existing in your blog or either make a new one. Hint, it will be automatically created if it does not exist. So mine was actually in the freebies category. And it will automatically post this. You need to do a post or a page for me in my freebies category 48 hours from now. And just do an upload. I'm not going to upload this because I've already actually scheduled this post and it is posted. So what I will do now is show you. Go back to home. And here is the actual post. It got posted this morning while I was still in bed. And voila, it's all done. That's all you need to do to schedule post in advance. I hope this helps you out. Use it. It's free. And thanks for watching. Be sure to visit me online at jetdigitals.com or terryjet.com. Thanks for watching.